the most important ingredient of them all, before I forget, the bread. This time, instead of using just like my regular wheat bread or honey wheat bread, I went with maple and brown sugar bread instead. Y'all, this bread is about to be off the chain. It's nice and thick. And of course, I'll take it out and show you guys. Looky, looky. Mm, perfect for French toast. So, anywho, enjoy. <music> stars I pray you guys are doing well I pray that you are happy and healthy in your heart and I pray that you guys are having a phenomenal time you guys I am popping in because I am about to share with you as the title states how I make my French toast bites and guess what I'm doing it via my air fryer yeah, so stay tuned. So without further ado, of course, I did a scan of all the items that I'm putting in mine. And I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but I'm just putting everything out here. So I have everything ready that I can just mix it all together and get it happening. So I start with milk, of course, any milk that you want. I have almond milk and I also have evaporated milk. I'm going to try a mixture of both of them. I have vanilla extract. I have a chai tea latte, and you're wondering, what in the world is she going to do with chai tea? Just stick around, you'll see. I have eggs. I have maple syrup, because we've gotten away from using the traditional syrups that they have in the grocery stores that have the high fructose corn syrup. Again, nobody eats perfect all the time, but we're just doing the best we can, one ingredient at a time. We have ground cinnamon. I have this for coating my uh, pan inside the air fryer oven. I have salt. Not sure if I'm going to use that. I'm not a huge fan of cooking with like plain salt, but we'll see. I have my mixing bowl. I have my whisk. I have some raspberries, and I also have some blueberries. This is for the garnish, of course. You know. Anywho, enjoy.
everything set so now I am going to um, put this in here for about 7 to 12 minutes and I'm going to do it on 350 and then of course I'll come back and show you the finished product. Alright so it just finished on the 8 minute mark but they're not quite done. They're a little tough on the outside which they need to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these over and put them back in for the remainder because I originally said I think 7 to 12 minutes so I'm going to put them in for the other uh, 4 minutes on the other side maybe 5 minutes on the other side just to make sure that they're good but as you can see they're coming along quite nicely and I cannot wait Ugh, I wish you guys can smell this it smells amazing so I'm just going to flip them like I said put them back in and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product alright guys it is all done looky looky Oh, 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 I have the maple syrup here for dipping because, again, these are French toast bites. Let me get it all up and close and personal. See that cinnamon chai tea sprinkle -ness on it? Smells amazing in here. And per usual, I have one of my taste testers here with me. So here we go, baby girl. You know what to do. Yes. <laughs> Dip it in, baby girl. Dip it in. True review, please. Okay. okay. Mm, Y'all hear the crunch? Oh, my gosh. That's so good. <laughs> Mouthful of food. Yeah. All right. I got to taste it, too. So here's one side of it. And then there's the other side. Dip it in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Go ahead. I see you want to take another <laughs> one. Go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal, you guys. So again, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, do us a favor and hit subscribe down below. When you like the episode, give us a thumbs up. And if you have anything you want to share, leave a comment down below. My stomach is happy right now. <laughs>